hello and welcome <clears throat> to our first tutorial on Unity 3D plus HTML5. What I've got here is I got Unity set up and I put some assets from the asset store and I want you to notice the assets I have. Um, the assets I have are I've got an audio source and let me see if I can sort of move these over so you can see them. I guess I can't. I'm trying to get get it so you can see the names of these things. And unfortunately, let me, let me see if I can open it up here. I want to give credit what I got from the asset store. I got audio draft music pack number two uh, from the sound part of the asset store. And I got L underscore FLG underscore assets underscore pack underscore light. Uh, and this is what helped me set up the, uh, the cemetery. So <clears throat> this is what I've downloaded from the asset store. None of these assets uh, have I created. Uh, I'm using them for educational purposes only. So let's see what this looks like when I just go to play it. So here I go to play it. And I hope you can hear the sound. And, and of course, it, I, I can move through it. I'm using my W key now. So all this came from the asset store, and this is what it looks like. Yeah, what I want to find out how, what, how to do now is how to take this and put it up on the on the web so other people can see uh, some of the tutorials that I've done, and they can do the same thing, move through it, and what have you. So to do that, uh, what I've done is I've created a folder, and the folder I created is Smith Game. I'm going to make believe that the person has a cryware.net uh, account uh, whose last name is Smith. And so he made a folder on his desktop called um, called Smith, uh, Smith Game. And let's see, I have this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and to the file, and I'm going to do a build settings. And what I'm going to do is make, make sure I add the current um, the current scene, which is this one. I don't want the other one that I had, so I just simply uncheck that one. I don't want that one. And I come here to Web Player, and I make sure it's streamed, and I make sure that it's uh, it's a development build. It's all it's, it's going to be offline eventually. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to build it. It's going to want to know where do you want to build it. Well, I come to the desktop, and I look for my empty folder, uh, Smith Smith game, right? A B R S. Smith game right here. Okay, I selected the folder, and now it's going to do its stuff. I'm going to not pause this. I'm going to let it go ahead and do its stuff, just so you get an idea of how long it takes to do these various things. So we can whistle, or you can skip ahead on the video, uh, but it'll give you an idea. What we have here is a fairly substantial um, uh, uh, scene, a very substantial level. Uh, that uh, so it has a lot of assets in it, and it has it's a fairly fairly large size one. So let's let's just see how long it will take. It says this will take a while. Okay, I believe that it's taking a while. Uh, you might want to skip ahead here. Let me see if I can pause this video. Okay, here we are again, and it, when when it finishes, it comes up with uh, <clears throat> with the folder. That the stuff is in. So if I double click on it, I now get this. I see it has four files, and one of them is Smith Game HTML. The name of the of the HTML document is the same name as the folder, but I can change this later on. And then I have uh, two JavaScript files .js, and I have a Unity 3D. This is the large one. So what I want to do with Smith Game? Let me just double click on it, see what the game looks like. Here it is coming up in Unity. And now I can see it through the browser, and it's just like it was in uh, when I had it when I played it in the Unity 3D system. But what I want to do with this, I want to upload this to a server uh, so that anyone on the internet with an internet connection can go through and uh, enjoy uh, enjoy this. So let's see how I do that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just kill this for now. All right. So the next thing I do is I go to my C panel. And uh, you might say, well, what's your cPanel? Uh, this is Smith has an account, and he made a cryware.net uh, account. 
uh, through this site, uh, which is owned by uh, by the company that uh, that I own. So I have a financial interest in this, which pays for uh, doing the the uh, these sites and also helps pay for the for the time to do these tutorials. And his username and his password was emailed to him once he signed up. And also, this up here was emailed to him. So he knew where to go. Smith.cryware.net, that's his URL. And his username is Smith, S-M-I-T-H-K-R-Y. And I'm going to type in this password, because uh, you should know his password. And it's, uh, uh, I got it. Enter. So it's successful now. And now it says, right here, it says, welcome new user. Uh, do you need help getting started? So what I'm going to click on here, I'm going to put no, I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. This is my C panel. I'm going to scroll down to where it says file manager. Okay. And I'm going to click on file manager. And it says, when I do that, it says, do you want to do anything? Do you need any help? And I'm going to say, I'm just going to take the default. What directory do you want? That's what it's asking me. I'm just going to say go. So there's my directory. And right now, there's nothing in it. What I need to do is I need to take the files that are here, these files here that are now on my desktop, and I need to upload all of them right to this directory, this root directory. So what I do is I come here to the upload button, right up here, and I click on it. And now it says, OK. Choose the files that you want to upload. All right, so let me do this so you'll be able to see everything it does. Uh, let me get it in the window. So I'm going to choose the file, and there, and I open the folder Smith Games. So I take the first one. I just take these in order, and I open it, and it's coming here. Hopefully, you can see it down here at the bottom. Maybe you can't. Let me bring it up here more. And this says complete. Okay, so I'm going to go back and get the next, uh, the other file. The next file is this. So I'm going to open it. And now you see it's that one's completed. It's been uploaded. Choose a file. And I'm going to come here to uh, Smith Game HTML. And I'm going to open it. OK. And uh, it says, or it exists in the directory. OK, so I've already got that. OK, so I don't need to do that one again. Let me try the big one, Smith Game Unity 3D. I'm going to open that. OK, now this is, this is taking a while down here, starting upload. It's now 4%. And it, since it's such a large file, it's going to take a while for it to upload. So let me just uh, put the pause on here until it does upload. OK, now that upload is completed. Now I'm going to choose the last file, the fourth file that was here, which was unityobject2.javascript.js. And it's being uploaded. And that upload is complete. And this is back to home. So I'm going to go back here. And now I see, uh, let me open this up here. I see all of these files here. Uh, let's see, where did it go? Um, oh, there it is. OK. Uh, I meant to do this, to open this. Yeah, there we go. OK. Now let me. All these files are now uploaded here, but let me, I have to adjust this browser so you can see them in there. OK. All right. Hopefully, this is within the window. All right. There's all the files that I uploaded. All these, all of these files have to stay together in the, in the same folder. What I want to do with Smith Game HTML now is I want to click on it right here, and I want to rename it. I want to rename it so it will automatically come up. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to rename Smith Game. I'm going to rename it index, all lowercase, with, with the extension HTML, I-N-D-E-X. And I'm going to put here, rename file. OK, it's now named index. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to come here on my browser. And I got a new tab now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Smith's URL so that people all, all over the world can see it. I'm going to type in S-M-I-T-H uh, dot cryware dot N-E-T. So this is, if he had a resume, 
this is where he give her his resume to show some of the stuff that uh, some of the tutorials he was able to do. And I hit enter, and what happens? Up comes Unity right through the browser. Okay, and here it comes, and that's all he had to type in in the URL. And as I look at it, I see there it is with the sound and everything, just like I had it. But now anyone else can see it. Okay, so what you've learned in this tutorial is how to use the cPanel if you have a host provider with a cPanel and to upload your Unity 3D game uh, using that host. Okay, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.